What's going on guys, this is No Filter, a Nintendo podcast, and here is my review for The Gardens Between on Nintendo Switch. The Gardens Between is a beautiful atmospheric puzzle game coming to us from The Voxel Agents and is for $20 on Nintendo Switch eShop. So I just want to start right off the bat here with this game is one of the best puzzle games I have ever played. Ever. I love my puzzle games, whether they're the storytelling kind or they're more of the Picross kind where you're just kind of sitting and playing and turn off the volume, just play it. This is a game you need to fully invest yourself in because it is beautiful and the gameplay is so engrossing and unique and creative. There's so much positive about this game. I can tell you right now, anyone listening to this review, go buy this game. You owe it to yourself to play it. So obviously my glowing recommendation is one thing, but let's get into some more of the refined details about the game as well. So the game is a explorative puzzle game where you manipulate time in these kind of eyelets gardens that you're basically spinning around as you move. So every step you take forward will move time forward as well. Every t- every step you take backward will move time backwards as well. And how you interact with the environment will change how certain things are on the island as time moves forward. So essentially what you, you are is you're playing as two kids, two friends. And as you're playing through the game, you um, are manipulating time in these garden-esque islets um, Uh, you know, these little islands that you spin around as you walk and you try to get to the top or you try to get to the end point of these islands where you basically illuminate an orb that will go into the ether and will kind of show a narrative explaining the childhood that these two shared together and all their memories with one another. And it really is beautiful and really had me thinking of, oh man, like my childhood and like some of the some of my memories of, of with friends playing outside or playing video games or, you know, or knocking over a bowl and getting in trouble or, you know, going through all these things here and all these little moments that stick in your mind, right? And those are the elements that you're playing through and these islets, these islands that you're traversing and you're manipulating time in order to move forward in, these islets are made up of the items and the surroundings that were that memory. So, if, for example, one of the memories, say they are playing video games, they have a couch, they have controllers, they have video game consoles, they have a TV, they have a remote, they have, uh, you know, a, a, um, a bowl of popcorn, they have a little fort with the towel on you. So that island is actually made up of all of these elements kind of thrown together as if a memory was stolen from somebody and shaken around and thrown onto an island. All these elements pop up there in different unique ways. And you then use those items from the real world or whatever to traverse through this island um, imaginary dream-like sequence. So again, the the whole atmosphere, the story, the visuals, oh my god, the visuals. Think of the game Inside. You guys all know, all know the game Inside, right? Think of that game with more color and more detail. That is what this game it is. It is gorgeous. This game is beautiful and not just because of how good the you know the graphical fidelity is it's just in motion when you're seeing how things move forward and backward and how through time everything changes around you and how you can manipulate that it is a work of art this game it every second looking at this game whether it be the color palette the fidelity the cute animations of the characters or the the crazy made up garden islets of real world items it is something is a sight to behold it's really beautiful and not just in the visuals the music as well it's the atmospheric music that you see in a lot of these type of games i wouldn't say it's like the best i've ever heard for like atmospheric music but it fits so well with what the game does and uh i'm definitely going to be downloading some of this to listen to later So something else I think is really great about the game is how simple it is on the surface, but how unique and creative the actual puzzles are. The puzzles are all environmental, and it takes a lot of thinking that you wouldn't have never had in games before it. You are basically controlling the game by just moving left or right and hitting A whenever you hit go to a certain object that you can interact with, and that is it. 
where you need to be paying attention though is you're not looking at where these characters are walking you're looking around to see what is happening as the time flows is there something falling in a certain area that you need to take note of where you can then stop time in that certain in that certain area move a say a, a raft or something underneath where that thing falls into the water then let the raft catch it move time forward as you keep walking and then that raft will come to you and you can then collect that glowing orb or whatever the case is you know it's stuff like that stuff that you have to keep your eye out for and you have to replay over and over and play through it again and again to see kind of where these things are it is a beautiful kind of chess match between what you're seeing what it's drawing your attention to and stuff in the background that really I've never experienced again before in a puzzle game and that's why I'm saying this is one of the best puzzle games I've ever made is because it's so unique in that aspect and not to mention just the production value and the quality of everything surrounding it is impeccable it's I can't believe the quality of some of these independent developed games nowadays people it's it's beautiful um and you know what? I feel like I should just end this review now. I feel like I've gushed over it way too long already. Um, I think you guys all owe it to yourselves to buy this game. It is easily one of the best games on the Switch right now. I believe it's also out on Steam, on PS4, I think on Xbox One as well. So everybody, go buy this game. It's uh, it's really something special. Um, for some of the more detailed stuff that you guys want to know, the game's probably around three to four hours to play, but I've already started a new game right away, which is in, it's unimaginable for p puzzle games, you know? How many people actually start a puzzle game right over after they finished it, you know? Especially one that's level-based. Um, it's it, it's really it's really something special guys so there it is <laughs> again there's my review of me gushing over a game for however long six seven minutes so hope you guys enjoyed this definitely take a look at the game and let me know what you guys think of it as well because it's something special people thank you guys all for watching and i will see you all next time